Guys, from the Ice Age to the Information Age, the Fraser covers all of Kentucky history and a woman who is a, a big part of what goes on here. This is Amanda. She's the senior curator of exhibitions here at the right. Fraser, And you have a few things out here that kind of uh, encompass a lot of Kentucky's more modern history. Um, Amanda, take us through, let's, let's start with the most recent. This is really embarrassing for me because this is from the mm -hmm. year I graduated high school, uh, the School of the Arts, class mm -hmm. 2003. Uh, talk to me about this and, and why it's important because when people look at this, they might be like, it's a shirt. Yeah, so we are updating our gallery here for our 20th anniversary. We're bringing out objects that you probably haven't seen in a while, objects from throughout our 20 year history. This dirt bowl shirt is from the Shawnee neighborhood. It was featured in our West of Ninth exhibition oh, in 2021. So, cool. so that one's really cool. We, um, you know, we've been doing special exhibitions our whole 20 year history. So this sign from Fontaine Ferry Park was in our Fontaine Ferry exhibition that was in 2009. And tell me a little bit about that because Fontaine Ferry has a a rather mixed history, and yeah. it's, it's important that we tell the whole story, right? Yeah, so Fontaine Ferry was a really beloved park here in Louisville, um, but it was segregated, and there were a lot of protests that happened, and um, you know there were sit-ins, and people were arrested as part of those protests. That's amazing, and this last piece is the oldest on the table here. Uh, this is a piece of American history as much as it is uh, um, as much as it is Kentucky history. Right. This is a whiskey prescription from so 1925 during Prohibition. This one's from Covington, Kentucky. You could go to your doctor, get a prescription for the whiskey that you wanted to drink. That is so cool, and we're celebrating 20 years here. You guys have a ton of really cool stuff uh, coming up. New exhibits opening. That's next month. We'll be back for that. Um, 20, if you're 20 years old, you get in for free. This is such a, a, a really cool spot. Talk about how important it is that this place exists right here in Kentucky's most populous city. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. We've had like a, a history that has changed a lot over our 20 years. We started out as a historical arms museum and we've kind of transitioned over the years to telling Kentucky's history. And I think that transition has really allowed us to connect with our community better and tell those stories of Kentucky and of Louisville. That's so cool. Yeah, connecting with community is all about what the Frasier does. Coming up in the next half hour, it will feel like it today, summer that is, what you can do this summer here at the Frasier Museum. We'll see you in about a half hour.